Hi everyone and thank you so much for coming back to my channel. In today's video I want to show you how I made this high-end fall DIY out of neglected decor from my garage. So you guys, I've had this piece in my garage for probably about a year and some change now. I got it from Big Lots um, a long while ago and I just want to put my hand up to show you the size of it. I will also be working with some of these dollar store pumpkin picks and just some old decor from the garage, this old wreath and some leftover fall leaves and foliage. So starting off, I just took the thankful sign off. I popped it off. It was um, stuck with a little bit of glue and a little bit of um, the industrial staples. And I painted it white. So now on to the small pumpkin picks. What I mixed were some of this um, orange paint that I got from the dollar store and a little bit of this caramel colored paint as well. And it made a really good rusty orange color here. I was so happy with the way that it came out. So you guys, I'm going to take a moment here to toot my own horn. Doesn't my manicure look amazing? And it is all brought to you by Nail Addict. Now when they reached out to me, I was super excited to try their product. They make gel polishes. In addition to the three colors that I chose, I was sent a base, a remover, and a top coat. In order to do the manicure, that's really important so that it'll be long lasting. So here you see me going over my nails with the color Cleopatra. I think red is such a classic color. I absolutely love it. I feel that it looks good on every single person and every skin tone. And they also sent me this LED light so that I can cure my nails quickly. So if you're interested in a long lasting manicure, please head down to my description box, click on the link and purchase these products. Now let's get back to the DIY you guys. So you guys, after I finished painting the uh, small pumpkin picks, I found some styrofoam in my garage of course, and I just placed them inside there so they can dry upright as I finish the other two. Let me tell you, you all, try not to throw too much away as far as your cardboard boxes and your foam goes. They can always be used in a DIY for any season. So now on to putting the wreath together. So um, there are just some leftover eucalyptus um, branches on this wreath that I had made probably about a year ago for springtime. But right now I'm just going to start with my hot glue and try to hot glue the thankful sign down. I'm going to try to make sure that I get it in a couple of different locations so that it can be very sturdy. Um, you could use like floral wire or something of that nature, but because I didn't have anything white um, to match the letters, I didn't want to use that and I just went in with a ton of hot glue. So now on to placing my pumpkins. These are just some leftover pumpkins that I had painted in previous seasons. I'm just going in with a little bit of hot glue and just, you know, um, putting it in the center at the bottom of where those uh, eucalyptus branches joined. And I'm going to move in now with some of these um, orange little berries. They are just off of some picks, as I said, that I've had from previous years. Just foliage that had fallen off probably a previous wreath, actually. But I'm glad that I saved it, and I feel that the color pattern is so pretty.
So here I just want to show you guys how it, it looked once I took off the thankful sign, how the canvas was just plain. And as you saw, I did put a little bit of tape around the edges so that I could paint it all black for the chalkboard effect that I was going for. Right now I'm going into the back of it on that little beam you see there with my drill. I do have some foam so I'm not going through my table. But I'm just going to go through the beam so that I can put a nail in so I can have a place to hang the wreath. So you guys, I slow the camera down a little bit. This is my favorite part of the project, just turning it over, taking the painter's tape off and just seeing all these crisp lines where I painted it black. I'm so excited to use this, not just for this season, but for upcoming seasons. I could put pretty much any type of wreath I want up here. I just feel that's gonna look so amazing and I just love the farmhouse style, the farmhouse feel. Y'all know I'm obsessed. I'm just so happy with how this came out. So you guys, here's the finished product and I am so proud of it. I do believe that you could find something like this at Kirkland's or Hobby Lobby for the bare minimum of 30 bucks and I did it for free, just using products that I already had. And before we close, I would like to thank Nail Addict for sponsoring my video today. If you are interested in long lasting gel polish, please head down to my description box below. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.